Hey guys, welcome back to Judah Highlights. Today, we're going to have a look at Maruyama and his seminar that he did in Romania. Now, this is coming from Judo Arts channel. Great guy. He let me use this footage. I hope you guys are subscribed and know about his channel. He's probably the biggest Judo YouTuber. So, shout outs to him. Now, Maruyama, he showed a lot of things in this seminar. Also, Togari, there was his kind of unique Sode Surikomigoshi Uchimata, of course. Uh, and also at the end, his uh, Tomoe Nage. So just showing a bit of Uchikomi here, which is always good to see. And here's a brief look at things to come. Uh, his Uchimata. Now, I will say that he didn't really show a lot of technical details uh, in this video. I get kind of that impression at a lot of these seminars. And you can just see, I mean, looking at the audience, a lot of young judoka in the audience so he's kind of tailoring this to them keeping it nice and simple but you can see here in his his sode what he does is uh, his right hand is going underneath his left arm and that's kind of unique I mean a lot of people do it double sleeves some people they pop the elbow out and kind of extend it that way but Moriyama he keeps his his right elbow nice and tucked underneath his left arm this is a little bit about also the the kind of two angles that you can approach it at. I think traditionally it is in this direction. However, more recently, and especially since Ono Shohei has kind of popularized this other direction, this direction here, going behind the back, driving down with the foot. Now, Mariyama, he doesn't really do also the a lot, although I've seen him kind of training it and I did want to just show you guys a clip of him doing all sorts of gari, but I couldn't find it there is some training footage out there somewhere if you do know where it is post it down in the comments below and I'll pin it in the comments so yeah entry to the all sorts of pretty basic having a, a low center of gravity on the entry step I think we, we all know this right but I did find this kind of interesting Watch how he maintains kind of that low center of gravity as he enters in. And then when he goes to read the leg, that's when he kind of stands up, stands up tall and kind of explodes uh, through his opponent. This is obviously the more traditional variation, reaping the leg. And here, this is the, the upper body movement. Kind of using that elbow to kind of blast into your opponent. Really getting a good hit here. And I definitely think this here kind of clotheslining the head like this. Very similar to Ono Shohei. But once again, I do find it a little bit, little bit strange. Moriyama teaching also the Gari. And here is his um, Uchikomi for it. And back in the day, he would get very told off by Japanese people doing this kind of uchikomi with you know a bent knee they always used to tell me you know keep your legs straight point your toes but that sort of uchikomi has now you know it's become less popular because of Ono Shohei and this is interesting Maruyama demonstrating the the one step the one step uchimata although this one was not I've never really seen him go in for an entry as a one step. He's generally, you know, taking several steps on his entry into the Uchimata, but he can do it. And he's kind of demonstrating it here, making sure that people point their toes uh, in the same direction that their opponent is facing. And you can see it here the pointing of the toes, very important. And I mean, he makes it look effortless. But it is a little bit difficult to kind of, you know, semi kind of face your opponent like this and then also point your toes in another direction and then lift them up. It's really something you kind of have to develop over years and years. But he's definitely got the flexibility and strength in these positions. And just lastly on his Uchimata, before we move on to the Tomoe Nage, you can see as he lifts, he's aiming to look for that opposite leg. I mean, that's ideal. What he wants is he's going to hit that opposite leg, but 
in competition, you know, his opponent's going to move, and that's where that leg kind of perfectly hits uh, the leg that is closer to him. But in an ideal situation, you'd look for that opposite side leg, pick him up, and then on the way down, fist downwards, pointing towards the ground as he pushes them into the mat. And that is really a trademark of Moriyama's Uchimata. Everyone kind of talks about the stepping, uh, the leg flexibility, uh, the speed, but also this high elbow and then fist, you know, basically punching people into the mat. I think it's a, a real trademark of his Uchimata. It makes it why it's so good. And just lastly, guys, this uh, one minute or so uh, on Tomoe Nage here. Mariyama, he's got a, a good Tomoe Nage. It's probably his second most used technique. Say, Uchimata number one, and then the Tomoe Nage. I would say the entry is a little bit different to what we traditionally do. It's kind of a Yoko Tomoe Nage. But he doesn't really like to move uh, people left or right, side to side, I should say, uh, when he does it. He kind of just creates the space for him to kind of sit down and pick people up. And he's very good about disguising it with his footsteps and mixing it in well with his uh, Uchimata. And you'll see a few combinations in a second. Uh, this is the kind of the traditional example. Drop down Seoinage and then a Tomoinage. Obviously, he's never going to do that. But uh, the same concept applies to his Uchimata. And of course he does this left first right all the time. And you can see here, making the space. So instead of shuffling his opponent, he's making the space and creating the entry. Anyway guys, that was the Mariyama Seminar. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!